Hi, YouTubers. This is a letter from Johnson Johnson. And so, the real name for Johnson & Johnson is Johnson & Johnson Consumer Services. And they're a little bit different. So, that's the party that does the refund. They get this information from you and send you this letter. And it says... 45 CFR Part 164 permits disclosure of patient information for public health activities, such as adverse event reporting, without the patient's authorization. I don't think you need an attorney looking at your information to decide whether a doctor needs to review that, because most of this information with benzene is something like Airplane glue is divided into two uh, groups of benzene, otoylene, and, and somehow it, it is uh, a benzene and, and some other psychogenic that the benzene hits the brain and it causes problems. That's why that's pretty much uh, not allowed in California. And you scroll down here a little bit so we see this form here and oh I thought I had it up yeah I did have it up so now I'll come over here and try to read this form it's a lot of information so an attorney supplies this information they thought this form is adequate it's not a medical doctor so let's Consumer Questionnaire Adverse Event Reporting Reply to Pennsylvania. Well, I hope Pennsylvania does business with California because they actually don't. And they withdrew to do business in this state. The only people that are authorized are Johnson & Johnson Consumer Services, which have an agent of process in the state of California. And this division of Johnson & Johnson doesn't. So that's another aspect to uh, consider right there. But it's reasonable. You know, alcoholics have flushing of the skin, uh, met other medical conditions. And uh, we're looking for excuses to add benzene. Like O'Reilly's, they add a small amount of benzene to their brake cleaner. And most garages don't like them. So I wouldn't buy that. And for instance, cigarette smoke. Um, somehow benzene is released and it's considered banned near businesses, you know, 20 feet. Well, anyway, some thoughts for you, and hope you guys don't ever have to deal with anything like this because it's something you don't want to deal with. And get an injunction is the preferred way if you ever get a letter like this at your medical office and they ask information. <laughs>